Today's soybean slip, the exports to China have been the lowest since 2011. The facts are really that even in November that they were absolutely zero for exports. Uh, with the government shut down too, you know, everyone is just scrambling for alternative news. Uh, they've been mostly going to find Brazil grain data because that's what's most important to the soybeans right now. So they might be going to, let's say, uh, grow intelligence or uh, ag resources or any kind of private uh, crop forecasters because we're trying to figure out what's, uh, you know, where the numbers are and how we can gauge uh, what they're going to do for planting in springtime. I'm, I mean, already, like the farmers can't really stop what they're doing. Uh, while this get, while we're going through the government shutdown, it's been very, very difficult to figure it out. That's why you're seeing uh, a lot of choppy trade and actually mostly the market moving sideways. Corn kind of firmed up a little bit today. The cash trade really uh, uh, stays, uh, it, it stays in a little bit of an uptrend, so it is kind of firm, but there isn't really a direction in the market. You know, uh, we've been moving sideways for three months now with really no change in the, uh, in the government shutdown or the tariffs, and it's got everyone, you know, concerned on what, uh, what we're supposed to be doing here. Um, even with the wheat, the wheat was mixed today too. Uh, the conflicting data has just got the futures kind of stalled out. We did have a 10 cent range in wheat, so there has been a little bit of activity. But exports are really slow for the wheat, and uh, when the government reopens, they expect to see that there isn't going to be much on the horizon uh, as well. But there's a lot of weather risk for wheat, and so that's kind of what's been underpinning the market a little bit, keeping it well above that $5 benchmark that we had been hovering over for quite a while. So we do have actually some upside potential if we can at least get uh, the government shut down uh, to, you know, to come to pass. And uh, then we can start working on uh, figuring out that whether there's going to be a tariff uh, a resolution or not. Uh, those two things are going to be very significant over the next number of weeks, uh, perhaps months, uh, before we can really find some real true direction uh, in the markets on all the grains.